Hello, my name is Florence Westergaard and today I want to talk to you about media and gender, more specifically the representation or underrepresentation of women in the media. We have made some progress in how the media portrays women and the presence and influence of women in media have also grown. But we still have a long way to go before that becomes a reality. Female stereotypes continue in the media we consume every day. Stereotypes such as the femme fatale, the superwoman, the sex kitten and the nasty corporate climber are still present in the 21st century. Today we are going to review the relationship between media and gender and our gender is represented within media platforms such as advertisement, film, news, politics and sports. We will see that resources exist to promote gender equality and reinforce women empowerment in the media industry. Gender stereotype is a simplified view or preconception about attributes or characteristics of someone or the roles women or men should perform. For example, to say women are irrational or women are nurturing are harmful stereotypes and perpetrate inequalities. Gender stereotypes and underrepresentation in media can contribute to harmful disrespect and violence towards women. Children are influenced by gendered stereotypes in media from a younger age. It can ultimately affect kids' career choice, self-worth, relationship and ability to achieve their full potential. Through the history of TV advertising, women have been defined in a very limited roles and placed in domestic sphere talking passionately about cleaning and housework. Gender roles in advertising correspond to cultural expectation toward gender and advertisers mirror the conventions and wishes of the society. The industry needs to be more sensitive to the representation of women, audience demands and response to brands that bring women and their lives to the forefront and to do authentically. A great example is This Girl Can, which features normal women. A study of GQ magazine covers gives striking results. White heterosexual men amounted to 79% of the total covers. Covers featuring women were given more salience for women's bodies, while most covers featuring men were fully closed. Men's magazines are changing. They realize that their readership includes women. There is also a real appetite for issue-led content. For example, big women magazines are taking lead in culturally relevant issues. Moving away from stereotypes, Look magazine for young women readers placed its first curvy model on the cover in 2014. Is there a quality of men and women in news media? Not really. According to a study in 114 countries, only 24% of the person heard, read about or seen in news are women. As of 2015, only 37% of stories were reported by women and 26% of internet stories and tweets are from women. The underrepresentation of women in the media play a significant role in shaping harmful attitudes of disrespect and violence towards women. When journalists are women, they have a tendency to share stories of other women and on issues that impact their lives. Also, they are twice as likely to challenge gender stereotypes in their reporting than male journalists. Film has a powerful influence in shaping cultural perception and attitudes toward gender. Yet, across 11 countries, 31% of all speaking characters were women. Only five women have ever been nominated for the Best Director Award category. Women are also underrepresented as directors and screenwriters. Disney is trying to improve female representation on the big screen. However, their productions still feature more male than female. The number of women in the film industry is rising slowly. However, 8% of directors, 21% of producers and 16% of writers are female. A demand for better female representation will price the film industry for change. 
Women political representation globally has doubled in the last 25 years, but this only amounts to around one in four parliamentary seats today. Women are still underrepresented in the highest political position. In 2019, only 10 women were the heads of state and 13 women heads of government across 22 countries. The media cover men and women politicians differently. This gender bias is likely to be detrimental for women politicians. Men are associated with masculine issues and which are more highly valued in politics. There is more focus on women candidates' personal lives or on what they are wearing, which diminishes women capabilities. Women professionals and athletes continue to be underrepresented in news coverage and often stereotypically portrayed. In 2019, men accounted for 96% of sport news on TV, women's sports receive only 4% of media coverage. Commentators use different language when they talk about female athletes. Men are often described as big, strong and aggressive. Women more often as fatigued, frustrated and vulnerable. While sexism is less common now, commentators will still mention a woman's role as a parent prior to speaking about their athletic news or ability. Women are more often called by their first name than men. This lack of coverage creates a shortage of role models for girls in sports. Girls drop out of sports two times more than boys. To give female athletes more leverage, a woman-led team at Adidas launched a global initiative called She Breaks Barriers. It gives better access to sports for women and girls and a greater visibility for female athletes. The media continue to struggle with gender equality in everything from creating news that is for and about women to promoting equal amounts of men and women to senior executive positions in politics, advertising, film and sports. As a society, we need to fight these stereotypes and create cultural change. The representation of women in the media has evolved, but still a lot needs to be done. To conclude, I will cite the feminist G.D. Anderson. She says, Feminism isn't about making women stronger. Women are already strong. It's about changing the way the world perceives that strength. Thank you for your time.